Good evening. Hi, good evening. Hi, how are you guys? Can you hear me okay? Can you hear me okay, guys? Or Hello? Hello? Can you hear me? Yes, teacher. Oh, okay, 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 good, good. Yes, teacher. All right, wonderful. I thought maybe you couldn't hear me. How are you guys? Great, teacher. Great. Yeah? Okay, very good. Good, good. I'm glad to hear that. Um, um how are you, David? Hi, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? I'm fine. Thanks. All right, excellent. I'm glad to hear that. Very good. Hello, how are you, Ana Claudia? Hi, teacher. I'm doing very well. Thank you very much for asking. Oh, good. How good. are you? I'm, I'm good. I'm doing pretty good. Not too bad. <laughs> Yeah, thank you. Hello, Heidi. Good evening, everybody. Good evening, teacher. How are you? Good, good. How are you? Uh, today, a little bit tired. <laughs> You're a little bit tired, really? Why? Was it a hard day today? Yeah, I guess. Hmm, I'm sorry to hear that. <laughs> oh, okay. Yeah, well... The good thing is that today is over, right? Yeah. 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 Um, so mm, let me think. Today is Wednesday, right? Because <laughs> yeah. I'm trying to figure out your, it's your Wednesday, right? I'm working until Saturday. Wow, really? Mm -hmm. Okay, so <laughs> halfway, a little bit halfway. Uh -huh. mm -hmm. Okay, yep. all right. So it'll, it'll be okay. All right, and uh, okay, good. Uh, hello, Jose Wilfredo. Hello, teacher. How are you? So far, so good. Just a little bit busy because I'm, I'm fixing something in my house. Oh, you're fixing like, something. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, really? I'm working on my house. Yeah. Oh, okay. Okay. So, it's something yeah. related with the electricity, but it's so good. Mm. Are, are you like an electrician? Uh, not like that, but I know a lot of. You, you know a lot about electricity? Yep. Nice. Okay. Very good. Um, did you, did you um, eh, go and learn something like a... a, a... Yep. Yeah. Oh. Right. So I have a certificate. Nice, nice. But like was it in support or? Yep, similar uh -huh. to in support. Nice, it's pretty good. Excellent, yeah. good for you. Good for you. Okay. <laughs> and right. what about your day? Um, it was good. Uh, my my day was good actually. Um, I I went to um, I I I went I I met some some new people today um a lot a lot of um foreigners um so it was it was nice we we got together had dinner that was nice it was very very nice yeah lots of people from from different places that i, I learned that i i met yeah so it was, it was nice thank you thank you for okay, asking cool. yeah Good to know. and uh wendy how are you wendy Hello, teacher. How are you? Um, um right now it's not so good because really? I have I have a migraine. <laughs> oh, you have a migraine. Migraine, yes. Oh, I'm sorry to hear that. Really? What? What's um? Have you have you taken some some 
the medicine? <laughs> yes, teacher. I have a, a, a pill. Uh -huh. but, yes, I have a pill, but it's difficult for me because I need a uh, only sleep next to the 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 take the pills. Ah, uh, okay. So you take the pill and then you go to sleep. Yeah. Is that right? Mm, I see. Okay. Okay. Well, um, yeah. The, the good thing is that you will, you will be, you will finish soon. <laughs> so <laughs> yes, next to the class teacher, I sleep. <laughs> yeah. Exactly. Exactly. You know, that's at least look at it through a good way but you know what maybe you can take it like um you know in the middle of the, of the class that way you'll only have one hour left of class and and then right after class you can go to sleep right so it kicks in it starts to you, you understand what i'm saying so it starts to tick, kick in yeah so okay. you can try something like that yeah but thank you. I really appreciate you being connected, even though you're you're not feeling so well. So I really, really appreciate that. Yes. I stay here and I, I participate in the class too. Good. Excellent. Excellent. I'm, I'm glad to hear that. Okay. Um, hello, Fernando. How are you? Hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. How oh, are you? Good morning. Good morning. In your case. <laughs> yes. <laughs> for you, for you. Yeah, you're right. It's good evening for me. It's good morning. Mm -hmm. You're yes. absolutely right. Yes. <laughs> yes. Um, good. You're, so you just arrived home? Sorry? You just arrived home? No, today I, I was working from home. Oh, good. Good, good. Okay. So it's really you, good. <laughs> yeah, yeah. It's nice to work from home. Just kind of relax a little bit. Yeah. Okay. Um, I say money. I say my patience. <laughs> <laughs> so I, I totally agree. Yeah, I yeah. agree. I agree. Yeah, <laughs> but that's good. That's good. Excellent. All right. Um, and let's see, Harvin, are, is Harvin here? Hello, teacher, I am driving right now. You're driving, okay, okay, yes. I see. Okay, um, uh, will you be home soon? Yes, I feel they have to arrive from my house. Okay, okay, good, all right. So hopefully you will be able to, to connect um, soon with the with the camera and all okay all right excellent um all right let's see uh hello roxana hello roxana are, are, can you hear me hi yes hi okay good how are you good evening how are you So first of all, to be honest with you, today it was a hard day at work. Really? I'm wow. Okay, so, well, why why was it so hard? Tell me about it. Well, uh, some days in the week I need to uh, apply some payments for different uh, um, providers, providers. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I need to check a platform or a balance at the bank and something like that. So it's very um, dangerous a little because it's all about uh, cash. Wow, okay, wow. So yeah, I, I understand. So it, it was, it was a, a stressful day at work. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Okay. But I the rest of the day, I think that everything is okay. You know, I'm working from home, and I think that uh, the time maybe is a little short to do some different activities at the day. 
because uh, we don't have a specific um, time for work. So uh, I know that I have my schedule, but in days like today, it's totally different because I need to uh, disconnect disconnect uh, lately. Or Late. Yeah. Late. Late, yeah. Mm -hmm. You have to disconnect late. Yes. Oh, okay, okay, I see. Yeah. So, wow. Yeah, so you 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 had to have like a longer day. Is like is that normal like on Wednesdays you always have like a longer day or it's just just today that that it happened? Um, well, I have payment maybe all days, but some days I have more than the others. Mm -hmm. And you know, I, well, I have a I have a son, and I need to support him with the homeworks and different activities. And mm -hmm. it's a little complex. It's sometimes it's hard day more than the others. Mm -hmm. Okay, okay, I understand. Oh, sorry to hear that. Okay, well, hopefully, um, things get a little better. Right. Okay. And uh, let me see. Juan Miguel, are you there? Hi, teacher. Hi, guys. Yes, Hi. I'm here. All right. Good. How's how was your day? Uh, it wasn't. It was kind of well. Yeah. Uh, I have some. Uh, things to do in, in the in the morning mm -hmm. <clears throat> I was uh, fixing the 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 network but uh, the how to say this like uh the connectors yeah or something like this yeah mm -hmm. and in the afternoon a uh, I ha I was in a meeting that mm -hmm. was related with some uh, new projects uh, which will be developed in a Kahoot report <clears throat> and uh, La Union also. So it was uh, with a personnel from others, other institutions. Hmm? In um, what else? I was solving some tickets uh, and hmm. daily routine. Yeah, related with the technical support. Yeah. Oh wow. Okay. So you were very busy today. Kind of busy. Yeah, but not wow. too heavy than yesterday. Yeah. Hmm. Okay. Okay. I see. All right, good, good. Let's see who I haven't seen. Uh, William? Hello, William. Are you there? Uh, William, hello? William oh. Alexander? Mm hmm not here. William? Can... All right. David Samuel? Hello, teacher. Hello. How Hello. are you? Good, uh, good. How are you? I am so fine. Good, good. Excellent. How was your day? Busy, very busy. Where we have uh, three years working in a uh, with the students in a virtual way and now we are full uh, presential and all of the students and it's, it's, it's amazing because uh, you can see you can feel uh, the energy uh, it is uh, so amazing work with uh, this kid but uh, it's tired too it's tired and you finish the day tired because you need to follow i i i i in my in this past three years, I give my class sit down in, and now I am 
uh, I need to say stand. Uh, I need to to walk around the classroom and and uh, it is interesting, but uh, at the end I feel tired. <laughs> mm -hmm. I understand. Yeah, I completely understand. Yeah, be yeah, being an online teacher and then being a face to face yeah. teacher is not uh it, like making the change is not easy. So I I understand. Yeah, but you know. Um, you will get used to it. You will get used to it. When did you start um, the classes? Uh, we started in, in uh, uh, January uh, thirty. Oh, okay. So we have so, two weeks. Uh, uh, yeah, two weeks, something like that. Yes. Uh huh. Uh, about a, a week and a half, something like that. Yeah. Yes. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You'll 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 start getting used to it. Maybe by like the end of this week, you'll start feeling a little better. Yes. Yeah. Yes, I okay. Hope so. <laughs> good. Good. Excellent. I hope so too. Hello, Roberto Luis. Are you there? Roberto Luis, are you there? No. Hello, hello, are you there? Roberto Luis? Hello, hello. Okay, Suleima Ivon. Suleima Ivon. Tampoco. Ok, acuérdense chicos de que necesitamos que ustedes se conecten con sus cámaras puestas y eh, con, uh, bueno, um, sí, sí o sea, siempre te debe de tener sus cámaras encendidas. Uh, entendemos que a veces mm, X cosa pasa, ¿verdad? Pero eh, en general debemos de tener las cámaras encendidas y definitivamente tenemos que estar pendientes ahí para cuando se nos um, llame, por ejemplo, para la asistencia, necesitamos definitivamente encender cámara um, y porque sí es un requisito de insoport. Acu um, acuérdense que no es solamente de que estén conectados. Eso no es lo que les va a ayudar a pasar el curso, sino que tienen que estar presentes en la clase eh, y la única manera que Insafor puede determinar si usted se realmente está presente en la clase es si, si su cámara está encendida, se puede, se puede ver que usted está allí conectado, ¿verdad? De lo contrario podría ser que simplemente usted se conecte, lo deje ahí conectado y como que nada, ¿verdad? O podría ser otra persona recibiendo la clase, entonces por eso es de que Insafor pide eh, no, es, no es cuestión nuestra, ¿verdad?, de, de, de inglés corporativo, sino que Insafor pide que ustedes se, se estén con la cámara encendida, ¿verdad? Entonces, les um, pedimos de que eh, puedan ustedes asegurarse de estar um, siempre con su cámara encendida, ¿verdad?, al menos que haya un, una, una cuestión sí, de peso que usted no puede encender la cámara, ¿verdad?, o, o que se la paga un ratito, ¿verdad? Pero, pero no es de que va a estar la mayor parte de, de, del tiempo con la cámara apagada, ¿verdad? Menos toda la clase. Entonces es muy importante que, que tomemos eso en cuenta, ¿verdad? Porque sí, eh, es, al, un, es algo que, que esa forma... Um, audita, ¿verdad? Eh, si ustedes, ustedes saben que, por ejemplo, se, se suben los videos, ¿verdad? El día siguiente... Y la razón por qué se, uh, se sube antes, incluso antes de, de cierta hora tiene que estar subido porque Insafor edit, eh, uh, audita estos, estos videos. Entonces ellos tienen que ya tener acceso a estos videos para poder verlo. Por eso se les pide que ustedes tengan siempre su cámara encendida. Así que si me pueden ayudar con eso, les agradecería bastante. ¿Verdad? Okay, bueno, um, hablando de eso, let's take attendance because I haven't taken attendance yet. Like not officially, I mean, in a way I have, but, but not officially. So let me try that. Uh, just give me a second.
Um, anyways, oh, by the way, any problems with the with the platform? If you guys are having like problems with the exercises, if one of the exercises is not correct, you can mm -hmm. always tell me, right? So that I can report it. So any problems there with the with the um, exercises? No teacher. No teacher. Not yet. No? Not yet. <laughs> okay, good. Yeah, I, I understand. Not yet. Mm -hmm. Right. Yeah. Okay. All right, good. Okay, so we're gonna start with our attendance. Okay, so Ana Claudia? Present teacher. David Samuel? Present teacher. Wonderful. Dora Elizabeth? Present. Wonderful. Fernando Ernesto. Fernando Ernesto. Not here. Um, Fernando Marvin. Present. All right, wonderful. Welcome. Eh, Francisco Eduardo. Okay, wonderful. Eh, Heidi. Present, present teacher. Wonderful. Eh, Eliana, Eliana Hissel. Present. Okay, thank you. Welcome. Uh, Harvin. Present teacher. All right, okay, wonderful. Thank you. And thank you for turning on the camera. Um, Jose Marcos? Present. All right, wonderful. Welcome. Jose Osmin? Present, chair. All right. Welcome. Jose Wilfredo? Present, teacher. All right, wonderful. Welcome. Juan Miguel. I'm here, teacher present. Excellent. Uh, Juan Enrique, sorry, uh, Ramon Enrique. Ramon Enrique. Not here. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. ¿Se encuentra usted ahí? Sabemos de que está conectado, pero no responde nunca. Entonces no sé si usted realmente está ahí en clase. ¿Podría por favor responder? Ok. Eh, Roxana Ivet. Present. Ok. Welcome. Thanks. Eh, William Alexander. Present. Ok. Welcome, William. Eh, Suleyma Ivonne. Suleyma Yvonne. Suleyma igual eh, sabemos que está conectada porque la vemos ahí que está su nombre, pero no sabemos eh, si usted realmente está ahí. ¿Podría responder si, si se encuentra ahí? Aunque sea por chat. Hola. Ok. Wendy Patricia. Present teacher. Ok. Welcome. Ok. 
y Wilfredo Guardado. Wilfredo Guardado. Un tampoco. Ok. All right, all right, guys. Thank you very much. Good evening, teacher. Fernando, Fernando. Ah. Fernando Ernesto. Fernando Ernesto. Ah, ok, awesome. ok. Mm -hmm. Gotcha. Thank you. Thank you for connecting. Ok, perfect. So, we got it. Ok, all right, guys. So, yesterday, uh, we were uh, presenting. Um, the we, we presented the... the um, the presentations um, about um, the um, the I, the ICT ICT systems, um, and we had one group left to present. So um, we are going to be listening to that group. Um, Okay, um, I just, let's see. So that was group number four. I think it was, what was group, in group number four we had? Me, teacher Ileana, also Jose Wilfredo, Fernando, and Marcos. Perfect, okay. All right, guys, so in that case, we are ready to listen to you. Okay. Okay. Um, we are the last group, so we are going to talk about ICT systems. Um, first of all, um, I can pass. Oh, yeah. Uh, we are going to talk about what is ICT. ICT is uh, well, the I is information, C communication, and T technology. And what that means, uh, that means all devices, networking, components, applications, and systems that combine allow people and organizations to interact in the digital world. Nowadays, I think that maybe the most of the companies use ICT systems to be maybe more productive and to be, uh, or, or like to improve every day, right? Um, maybe the process we are going to talk about or that we chose was software testing. Maybe, Marcos, you could help me with that. Okay, okay. Yeah, the process we uh, choose to explain, to describe the ICT thing is the software right, testing. In, in, in this case, or um, Classmate Fernando is the, the one who developed this process in, in his job. So he tells us that he um, uh, record all the testing, the um, action he performed in some software. So they can, all the team can know about the bugs, the errors, or the issues about any software that is uh, currently developed. So they record or register all the issues and all the notes in order that the developers can know about these issues or this book. So they can um, think about a, a fix or, a, or solve the problem. Um, so this is the, the, the process we choose. Okay, Fernando. Okay. Oh. I, I'm going to talk about the step of this process. It can be different in different company, but in my company, uh, it's like this, this form. First step is create a team. This team is formed by a project manager, developers, business consultant, QAs, and, <laughs> and define the, ta the team task. Number two, define the sprint. Uh, the sprint is a, a methodology you use it. Uh, it is called agile methodology and is defined a period of time. Number three is register all tasks for each role using ICT systems. 
uh, we have one system for, for that. And in this software, we register all tasks for, for each role and, and record the progress of, the, of them is reviewed daily to determine the percentage of progress and inform the company if the agreed time will be met. And number four, record all books, issues, errors found, or any details that express progress or delay in the respective type. Uh, number five is close tasks, uh, in consequence, the sprint. Uh, uh, assurance, the, the goal is to close all tasks with 100% uh, compliance in the estimated times and proceed to close the task. And the last part is deliver software to the client according to the to the definition uh, and the right time. Okay, Jose Wilfredo. Uh -huh. no. Sure, so benefits. Now if the client is able to complete the goals and deliver the software in order to improve the process, apply quality control when developing a software and improving company's uh, reputation. That's it. And that's all the journey. Okay, so you guys are finished? Yeah. All right, bravo, excellent. Very good guys, all right. Um, questions for this group? Oh, teacher. That's okay. You sure? Yes. Okay. All right. Very good. All right, guys. Um, so I think you have uh, been able to master the unit one, right, to IP, ICT systems, and you um, have been able to understand uh, what what ICT systems are and to be able to identify how they are used in um, in your workplace, which is great. Excellent. Do you guys have any questions about um, about ICT systems before we continue? No, no teacher, teacher, I feel we have learned a lot. Oh, <laughs> good. <laughs> okay, good. I'm glad you you feel that way. That's that's very important. Okay. All right. So, no questions at all. We. Nothing, nothing, nothing you want to ask before we move on to unit two, because we're going to be closing officially unit two. Sorry, unit one, sorry, unit one. No? Not for sure. No okay. All right. Not teacher. Okay. Um, all right, perfect. In that case, what we're going to do is move on uh, and I'm going to ask you if you can see my PowerPoint. Yes, teacher, we see. Yeah. Okay. Good. Thank you. All right. So this is uh, the advanced number four. It's day number six. And uh, today is Wednesday, February 8th, 2023. Your facilitator is Jessica Guerrero. Okay, so um, we're going to start with um, this. First of all, it says here, describe what the term IOT is about. Have you ever heard of this term before, IOT? I uh, guess I remember it's like uh, intelligence. No, oh, Internet of Things. Internet of Things. That is the meaning, right? Mm -hmm. Very good. Mm -hmm. Internet of Things. Exactly. Um, and what does that mean? The first time that I heard that, it was in my company mm -hmm. because we switch and we rebrand, move to a rebrand name. Mm -hmm. I'm sorry. Rebrand is the same. <laughs> Uh, rebrand and the movement implies that 
we were implementing new equipment. What regularly we sell and we do is some equipment is like an electronic logbook that counts miles, the fuel, time, et cetera, for every truck and driver. It was synchronized with an application that the drivers log in. But with the um, rebranding, they also took advantage and introduced new equipment. And what that is, that means a complete system that works together, a dash cam, a lateral one, a GPS, and all they work through the internet and the administrators, they are on top. They have updates every 30 seconds. That is the first time I, I heard of that last year. And we are supposed oh. to work under that concept in my company. Okay. Okay, very good, very good. Okay, um, all right. Does that sound pretty clear for you guys, or are you? Do you have any questions about it? Okay, I I, I was learned that uh, here mm -hmm. that uh, that uh, term or that uh, word or that definition, but. Uh, we said uh, the really first time that I think about that, I, I, I didn't know that a lot. And I am trying to understand now. Is this is something new for me? It's uh, all in the in the uh, internet, in the uh, workplaces of many, but for me, it's the first time that I put attention to that. I in general, mean, uh -huh. in general uh, uh, David, it means that everything has its own internet connection, but they hook up to a network and the information all of they provide gives an uh, uh, insight of 360 degrees to the administrators. That is what <laughs> I understood in my job. Thank you, thank you. Yes, I, I, I was uh, really talking about, and uh, the definition is so clear, but but is the very first time that I, I put interest in mm -hmm. that, and, and I need to to process the information in my brain to fully understand and to make the connection that to 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 think uh, that I oh. understand that. I, I am reading that uh, it could be a, a man with a, a, a sensor or a, or a, a device that uh, control her heart, her pressure, her something like that, or a biochip transponder in, in animals, something like that. It's, it's important mm -hmm. in mm -hmm. the interconnection of all of that things. And that right. scene can be a human, can be an animal, can be a uh, maybe a robot, some of that that kind of things. But Absolutely. it's, yeah. it's my first experience. <laughs> yeah, exactly, David. You are not the first person that that um, feels that that way. You know, actually, many of us, I think, a uh, um, it, these are not things that we normally. Um, use in our in our everyday life right so it's going to be something new in fact because I need you guys to get familiar with this what we're going to do the first thing we're going to do right now is we're gonna, I'm going to divide you guys into small groups and I want you to find out as much as you can about IOT so we already know that the IOT is what is the meaning of IOT it stands for Internet, Internet, of things. Things. Internet of things. Internet of things. Okay, so we already understand the 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 um the abbreviation, right? Like the the acronym of IoT. All right, perfect. So, but what does that really mean? So that we we understand the what the word or the means, but what is it involved? So what I want you to do is I want you to um work with your 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 classmates. You're gonna find out the components of IoT, okay, and the first thing, components of IoT, 
and um, what it really means. Give a definition. Remember, I told you last time, I don't want you just to give me a definition of, that you find on the internet. Try to actually explain it in your own words. And the second, th the third thing is how it works. Okay, how it works. All right, so what are the components? The meaning of it and how it works. Okay, so um, actually I'm gonna write in the chat so you guys have the opportunity of going back and okay, so. Okay, so the first question you gotta you gotta make sure that you answer is okay. So what are the components of IoT? Second one, what is the meaning of IoT in your own words? And how does IoT work? Okay. Those are the three questions I want you to um, investigate with your classmate, okay? Your classmates, because again, you're working in groups. All right, are the instructions pretty clear? Yes. Yes, teacher. Yeah. Okay, all right, perfect. Yes, sir. Uh, wonderful. Okay, so I'm gonna put you guys into breakout rooms. Um, okay, just a second while I figure this out. Okay. All right. So I'm hoping that you guys have uh, at least three people in your group. Okay. I hope. We, yeah. Okay. So I'm going to give you about 10 minutes to figure this out. Okay. Sounds good. Yeah. Yes. Sounds okay. good. Perfect, teacher. All right. Here we go. Eh, David, Roxana, no puede, hello, no, no, no pueden crecer, Roxana. Eh, no veo quiénes están, sí, es como que se han salido, no, no sé, sí, no. No, usted no entra. Sí. Mm, no, oh, mm. ah, ok, uh -huh. voy. Roberto, usted está ahí. Roberto, Roberto Luis, usted se encuentra ahí. Roberto. Mm -hmm. 
Work or works? I, I am not sure. Mm, it's work. Mm, it's work. How does it work? How does it work? Mm -hmm. Because you already used us. All right. Okay. So the components components components. Seven com components, component one, IoT devices, component two, security, three, network, four, gateway, five, the cloud, six, application, and seven, user. There are also another article that mm -hmm. has five components, and another one says three components. Yeah. Uh -huh. Just or, or we should uh, write the major components. Maybe. Yeah, I think the the seven components because it fit uh, the bottom it is that is updated on September. The other one that has only three components, it's about twenty. Yeah, so for me, I think it's it has okay. then we'll take the seven components. Okay. Okay. Should I send them to you through the chat? I I will copy and paste over here. Yeah. Okay, there you go. I think there are the seven components that we are talking about, yeah. IoT devices, security, network, gateway. The cloud, the application, and users. Okay. 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 You know, I don't know how about you guys, but I hear a strange sound. Sorry, I I couldn't hear you. I was telling you that I heard a strange sound, but yeah, I like can't a, hear it anymore. Like a movie or something. Uh -huh. <laughs> okay. I get all of the components, but the gateway, what does it mean, Juan Miguel? The gateway? The gateway, in this case, it's about uh, the way it, or the is it, MIDI. Is it Sorry. gateway or gateway? Maybe gate, gate, gateway because has the the word gate like a uh, like, like a, a door door uh -huh. like the gate like in the mm -hmm. airports the gate. Okay, okay so uh, in this case, I will try to explain mm -hmm. what what are what um uh, um I understand about. The seven components, yeah. Mm -hmm. IoT devices. It refers to any device that you can connect to the network, yeah. In a maybe in your home, for example, if you have the Alexa and may, uh, and some uh, lamps that you say, "Hey Alexa, turn on the lamp," so you have in IoT devices, yeah. Mm -hmm. uh, you connect them over the network. Obviously, with some security protocols, yeah, it's that those are the number one, two, and three uh, components, yeah. And the gateway, it um, it refers it refers to the uh, to some device, yeah, 
which is like uh, the device. For, for example, you can use the uh, Google. Hey Google, and the Google uh, interface. Ah, interface. So the the network where they can hook up, right? Interface. Yes. Mm -hmm. Okay. Interface, I guess. Mm -hmm. Teacher, how do you pronounce this interface? The, the pronunciation? Yeah, that's correct. Interface. Ah, okay. Interface. Mm -hmm. Okay. So those are the and, and by the way, is components or components? Components. Ah, components. 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 Mm -hmm. components. Okay. Mm -hmm. This is strong in the second component. Mm -hmm. Components. Okay. And the third one is how it works is what we were discussing, right? That, but if you explain it in your own words, how do you understand that it, it works? Is is uh, let me see. I get ver. And how do you understand that? Uh -huh. Yes. But I I try uh, I try the says in English. Mm -hmm. Well, I understand that uh, it works uh, with uh, um, Wi-Fi connection. Ah, it's 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 changed. It can the data in real time. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. This okay. is the way work the I OIT. I OIT, yeah, IOT. Sí. IOT. 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 Exchange of data in real time. Aha. Uh Aha. -huh. Uh -huh. Is uh, using data 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 remember. Eh. Okay. Mm -hmm. I think we can if when we are we'll be in class, we will be able to explain it, right? Yes. Okay. Yeah. We understand, teacher. All of it? Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay. All right. Um, all right. Well, I'm going to go to the other rooms and make sure everybody's finished. Okay. Okay. Thank okay. you. Mm -hmm. Machines in war is machine too. Hmm? Like a robot in the mm -hmm. industrial. It, it was a great discover internet. Discover internet. It was great. The the discover or the construction of internet. Oh, okay. Be, because thanks to internet we, we have a lot of devices today that they are able to connect to to connect to a network. Yeah. So, okay, that it was the last question. Yeah, it was the last question. How are you guys? Does, are you guys finished? Yeah, words. Um. Yeah, but I think and no one is writing down the answer. So. Oh yeah, you're gonna mind. have to explain. So you're gonna have to write things down. Okay. Okay. So. Uh, sure. Let's summarize once again all what we say. The chair. Uh huh. When when we move to a break, a break of room. Mm -hmm. uh, the question in the chat is eraser. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you're gonna have to. Yeah, you have to. Um, you're gonna have to. Yeah, it pick picture or or. Or oh, no. copy and paste, uh -huh, or write it down. Mm -hmm. Okay. Yeah, you're yeah. gonna have to do or that. Or maybe 
You can send through WhatsApp group. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I could do that too. Yeah. Okay. So, um, you guys finished or do you need more time? No, I finished. Uh, yeah, we finished, but um, anyone, no, no one write down the answer. Okay, so do, write it down so that you guys can uh, awesome. share, okay? Okay. 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 So the first question. Yeah, yeah, I can. I can do okay. that. So the first question is. Uh, okay. Mm -hmm, there okay, how this work is the way how between oh, what can I say? Through one device you can share data for another device. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and through the internet. And indicate how this works. Uh, I the, way, the way how this work, yes. say alrededor, around. Yeah, that's fine, around. Mm -hmm. Obstacles. Are you guys finished? For um, me, uh, I think I have a 
Okay, so you guys are finished? You William? Yeah. I'm ready. Yeah. Yes. I think we have the information. Okay, perfect. Um all right, all right. So I'll see you guys in the main room in a moment. Yeah. Okay. Hey, Jose Wilfredo. Hi, it's true. I have a problem because I don't know why Zoom uh, locked me out. Oh, really? And then, yep. I was typing right now, but now you're back. Oh, okay. To okay. the in the room. Okay. And you well, have me to, to jump into the right room? Actually, I'm bringing everybody back because we're finished. Oh, okay. okay. Yeah. So I'm going to okay. close it right now. All right. Okay. Thank you. Okay, guys. All right. So um, I'm hoping that everybody's finished, right? From what I can see, everybody's finished. Am I correct? Yeah? Yes, you do. Okay, perfect. All right. So, um, all right. So, what we're going to do right now then is um, I'm going to uh, switch you around. And you're going to be sharing your information with other classmates, okay? So whatever you discuss with your classmates, we're going to be, uh, we're going to switch around so that you guys can, um, eh, can figure out if, if you have the same ideas or you have different ideas, okay? All right, just seconds while I... Do this again. Mm. Okay. All right, guys. So here we go. It, I'm going to give you five minutes only because um it's only going to be sharing your information okay so let's open the rooms David, you have okay. your problems? I need
Hey guys. Hey Wendy. Hi Juan, continue. Okay, I will try to continue what we were talking about. Were you guys in the same group? Wendy, yeah, Wendy and I was in uh, were, uh, were in the same group. Ah, oh, okay. Fernando? Fernando, Fernando Ernesto. He, Heidi no está here, teacher. ¿Ah? Heidi? No, es que estamos cambiando de, oh, o sea, sí. ustedes de eh, casualidad. Wendy, Wendy, ajá, Wendy y yo estamos en el mismo grupo. Uh -huh, ajá, de casualidad que está en el mismo grupo, pero en realidad estamos intercambiando. Okay. Uh -huh. We were talking with Wendy and the, the other mates about uh, the topic, so I don't know. Fer Wendy. Fernando, necesito Fernando Resto. Yes, sorry, okay. Tisha. That's okay. All right, so you can share the information that you have with Juan Miguel and, and Wendy, okay? Okay. Okay, perfect. Hi Fernando. Hi. Uh, we were talking about this. So I have the questions over here and um the answers like like this. I don't know if you are watching my my screen. This. Okay, so what are the components of IoT? We we found we found these seven components. I don't know if you uh, found another. Uh, Identify another one. No, that, that's, that, that is enough, I, I think. But Gateway, Gateway. We, we have, Gateway is a, is a term used in a network, networking. Yeah. But Gateway is like a, maybe a, a, a bridge or a, our insert port, for example, you have a port, a gateway is the entry port, maybe a, to access a, a network or access to a software or access to a application, an application. So for the second one, What's the meaning of IoT in our own world? A quantity of devices connected with the right technology over the network in order to facilitate the information of this, of these same devices. Yeah, in order to uh, maybe control or uh, process information, yeah. Mm, yes. I don't know if for you. Maybe my... if, if you if you if you if you want to explain with your your own words. Uh, yeah. 
Yes. And for and for components, what do you find? The what do you find? The components is the smart device, mm -hmm. mobile application, and okay. the interface. Interface okay. with the device with the cloud. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Through the internet. We almost has the we almost have the, the same information. The same the, definition, uh-huh. Yes. Okay, so you guys are ready? We're ready. Sir. I think yes. Yes. Okay. All right. In that case, I will return back to the room. Okay. 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 All right, guys. You guys finished? Yes, teacher. Okay. Um, all right, so let's start with the first part. Okay, so the first part, the first question I had were, uh, what are the components of the IOT? Well, basically, you need a, you need to have a software because you need to connect to a different uh, connections, uh, Wi-Fi uh, or uh, no sé cómo, cómo conectarse directamente, uh, network in general, mm -hmm. and hardware because you need any devices to connect with the network. Okay, okay, good. All right, um, more information? What are the components? Uh, yes, there are a, a special protocol of communication because uh, the communication beyond the, between devices and uh, between uh, humans and other it needs to be without human intervention, without interaction, a human computer it needs to be an, an instant communication, not like if you are using a, a heart implant and you are being monitored, the system needs to have communication with an, an intelligent system that can give a feedback and something like that. You need that kind of device that no uh, human interaction or human to computer interaction, but only device with a computer like uh, the sensor of of a car that uh, detect a, a flat tire or a, a problem with the motor or a problem in another part of the car. Mm -hmm. This an an instant information that you have in your in your display in the car. And uh, these devices are, are important. A uh, uh, cheat for control, for animal control, the control of a different kind of animal, use a biotransponder that uh, can communicate with another machines. Mm -hmm. Very, very, very important. Good. Okay, so can you explain to me how an animal can be part of a component? 
How animals, sorry? How animals can also be part of those components. Yes, uh, uh, animals like eagles, like tigers, uh, like that are uh, using a, a device in her body, like in her wings or in her ears, uh, in some part of her body, mm -hmm. uh, that they are, are live free in the in their own habitat, own habitat, mm -hmm. they live free, but uh, the scientists need to study how the lifestyle or something like that. And they mm -hmm. are monitoring the, the animal in the day, in the night, how how they rest, how mm -hmm. they get food, something like that. And they mm -hmm. are uh, receiving information from the device in the, in the animal. Okay. Very good. All right. Yes, very good. I will actually tell you a little um, something about that after everybody gives me um, their information. Okay. Any other components? Um, we were discussing, teacher, about um, like we found like seven components. Uh, like what components? Seven. Seven components. Mm -hmm. uh, the first one was IoT devices that basically are the physical devices that interact with the with the environment. Uh, the second one was a network, that the network uh, is the responsible for the communication between IoT or in the IoT environmental or system, for to say something. Um, we also found a third component that was, that is security that this component is responsible of the control of, to, of the IoT network and the security of the data, et cetera. Um, the other one is the gateway. In this part, uh, Juan Miguel have like a, a lot of knowledge about this and, <laughs> and he explained to us uh, about the gateway, but I think that at the end, I understand that this component is like the, um, it's like, like the, the responsible to pass maybe through itself data from, for example, sensors to the cloud, that is another component and the, to the cloud and yeah, like a, I don't know how to say vice versa. 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 Yeah. But I think or that's the other that, way around. Mm -hmm. That is the gateway. Okay. And we have the cloud that at, and basically is this, this, they're responsible for the, the data, the data storage and application that is, I don't know, in this part. Yeah, I, I, I stay like with some doubts. You can say something about this part, Miguel. Okay, <clears throat> I will try to share a presentation that uh, Ileana is talking about. Yeah, uh, we found uh, those seven components. Yeah, uh, Ileana is talking about an application and the application could be uh, the software itself, yeah, uh, which is used in order to process all the all the data, yeah, through the devices. For example, uh, you can um, order to a device, yeah, for in your at, at your home, for example, uh, hey Google or hey Alexa, turn on the lamp number one, for example, yeah, but you do this thing through the application when you are not uh, in the same place uh, physically, yeah, so in your application, you, you have uh, all the devices rec uh, recognized over your network, and uh, you can interact with them if you want to do uh, the situation, yeah, and uh, uh, the seventh component that we found uh, it's the users, yeah? 
uh, <clears throat> and I, I I was talking um, and I and I was doing a, a game work with all of these components. Yeah, mm -hmm. uh, the users uh, through the application that sometimes uses a VPN. Mm -hmm. uh, they connect uh, over the internet to the cloud. Yeah, in order to the IoT devices uh, using their security protocols over your network, understand, uh, how to say this, como que se entiendan entre todos. Under, uh, among each other. Okay, understand yeah. among each other because you have a hardware or a software that is the gateway. The gateway, gateway, is the, the hardware of, of the software who has uh, the necessary settings in order to all of your devices in your network or uh, in other network can communicate among them, uh, process, uh, receive some orders, process the data, and at the end output uh, whatever you want to do these kind of devices. Yeah, I was talking about an uh, a, a example that uh, at my mom's house, mm -hmm. she has the La Tiendita de la Colonia, the mini market neighbor. So we, we, we usually say the corner store. The corner store. Mm, even though oh. it may not be in the corner, but we say the corner okay. store. Okay, so... Uh, People uh, arrive, arrive at home uh, in order to take the orders, uh, for example, of Coca-Cola, Pepsi, or whatever, with uh, PDA, yeah? Uh, they take the order uh, in the PDA and send the order immediately to the, to the company, yeah? Mm -hmm. uh, obviously, you have your own security protocols, you mm -hmm. use network, uh, you use the internet, obviously your own cloud, yeah, mm -hmm. uh, in order to people who is not uh, allowed have access to the data that you are uh, trying to, to manipulate, yeah, mm -hmm. and uh, the order is received in the, in the company, mm -hmm. is is prepared mm -hmm. to the truck and the next day is delivered to my mom's house yeah mm -hmm. all of these situations or at least the first situation that is taking the order is it's uh done with this kind of things iot devices yeah so it the there are many applications, uh, but applications, I'm not talking about an app. Uh, application are examples of what you, what can you do with all of these situations, yeah? So if you don't have users, uh, all of this, it has no sense, yeah? Because for me, okay? Because uh, you use those components in order to uh, make your life easier yeah there are some fr fridge fridges yeah mm -hmm. that has a connection with internet maybe mm -hmm. not in your country but in usa in europe uh, you when you arrive home you can uh, check or mark uh, there are some cucumber some vegetables some milk and the internet of things makes with all the components or with all the ingredients that you have in your fridge, they suggest you some re recipes, recetas, Recipe. yeah, some mm -hmm. recipes in order to uh, approach all the ingredients that you have in your fridge. Yeah. Take advantage. Yeah, take advantage and not uh, desperdiciar and not waste. waste. Yeah. The, the the ingredients so yeah very good and they also for example they can order food as well 
like there, yeah, you can, for example, if they, um, they feel that uh, some, there's some, um, some sort of food, like let's say milk, for example, that is a, that is almost gone or it's about to expire, they will order it for you. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. And I think Juan Miguel, you answered pretty much the other two questions. What is the meaning <laughs> of the IoT and how it works? Yeah, I think so. But if you guys want to add more, that's okay too. We, we can do that as well. Anybody else wants to add more information in your own words, how you can describe IoT? I, I really love what Clean Energy Cell said, that uh, it is like a system that interacts with all of the elements that Juan Miguel explained mm -hmm. with the objective or purpose of sharing information or communicating. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Very good. Yeah, very, very good. Uh, Fernando, were you going to say something? Oh, yes. Um, I, I, in my own world, uh, the, the, the meaning of Internet of Things, I think that Internet of Things is referred to all devices that we used to use with our a connection and mm -hmm. no worries. Thanks to the technological company, we have these devices in a new version and these devices are able to connect at any network. Usually it's internet, but we, we can use other, other networks. Mm -hmm. So thanks to that, this company, we have, I don't know, TVs, watches, kitchens, mm -hmm. uh, house lights, you know, these devices some years ago are uh, uh, were, were manuals. So today we have a collection for, for uh, hundreds of these devices. Mm -hmm. Yeah, absolutely. Absolutely. Very good. Okay. Um, all right. Anybody else want to add something? I, I, I want to share a, a, a picture. Mm -hmm. uh, I, I see that, uh, I, I see, I don't have experience, but I see that an IOT system, IOT system is, it will be, or it needs to be different from ICT system. I, I believe, I, I am not sure because I, am, I don't have experience. This is an, an example of an IoT systems. The devices that uh, allow to collect data, uh, the a sensor, an antenna, and a microcontroller. There is the point of interaction, a hub or a gateway. And then the, the part of that, the data was analyzed. And this is uh, important, uh, how the data is analyzed and the packet system, what, what are the decisions that, that they, they do. And uh, I, in, the, in the definition that I found is important this, this part that says, uh, without this part is, is uh, 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 without requiring human to human or human to computer interaction. Mm -hmm. In that kind, I think, I, I think that in the case of the Coca-Cola that is making a, a, a requirement, requirement uh, there are human to machine interaction. Right. And that, that will be, I think, an ICT, not an IoT. But uh, as I say, I don't have experience. I only was uh, thinking that I, I think it's a different ICT from IOT. Mm -hmm. But I need to be verified about that. Okay. <laughs> I don't mm -hmm. have a, I, I am knowing about that. It's okay. new for me. Yeah. All right. What do you guys think about that? What do you guys think about, about um, is it, is I, I, ICT different from IoT or is it part of it? 
maybe it's a part of it. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Because ICT, in ICT, you are talking about information information and communications technology. Mm -hmm. So uh, if you don't have any ICT system, obviously you don't, or you won't have IoT, yeah. Mm -hmm. Very good, I, yes. Mm -hmm. IoT is uh, mm -hmm. like uh, inside ICT, yeah. Uh, ICT is related with connections, equipment, uh, that data, data interchange, uh, but IoT goes uh, beyond, must say, yeah, yeah, beyond. Sure. In, beyond that. Uh, in order to uh, obviously take in the advantage of IC, ICT system in order to uh, manage your own, own network device. Obviously, for the purposes that you want to, 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 to do in your company. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Exactly. Yeah, Maybe. very good. Yeah, you're, you're absolutely right. So um, ICT is information communication technology, which is basically any technology that we use to be able to uh, provide information and communicate, right? So that's kind of the general part, right? But within that, a part, a very um, important part of the ICT is the IoT, right? Which um, is, as as um, uh, Wemi already mentioned, it's kind of um, something uh, more specific, where um, it's more internal, right? So it's it's a more internal part of the ICT. So whereas I, it's ICT in general is a way of communicating, IoT is a very specific way of communicating within a system. Does that make sense? The, the, the definition by the rail says that the IoT requires that every part of the IoT system have a unique uh, unique identification mm -hmm. to interact with the systems. Mm -hmm. And uh, that kind of information is uh, uh, giving me a, a limited vision about that. But um, it makes sense. It makes sense IoT is part of an ICT. Mm -hmm. it could exactly. be, yes. Yeah. Yeah, very good. Um, and um, yes, a, a, something interesting about the IoT is precisely that part that um, eliminates that human interaction. It's not necessary anymore uh, to have human interaction in the IoT. That's why it's, it's an internet of things, right? Um, so it kind of limits it. It's not necessary anymore. So, for example, we were talking about, a, you know, I don't remember who mentioned about the um, the fridge, for example, right? Um, so the fridge interacts uh, with um, the the cloud, right? And it makes its own. Um, its own recipes and things like that. So no longer is it necessary for the human to input the information. They just kind of say, ah, they, they interact be between each other. Does that make sense? Yeah, in, yes, that, yes. in that case, teacher, uh, the fridge is the user of the internet. The mm -hmm. fridge, yeah, mm -hmm. obviously, uh, Maybe before you have entered any any uh, ingredient that you bought that you bought uh, before, yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, I I was talking about users, but users is is not only the human user, yeah. Users mm -hmm. are the the devices that you have in at your own house. Mm -hmm. For example, the the lights, the the fridge, mm -hmm. the whatever you 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 can uh, afford in order to to make your life easier yeah mm -hmm. 
Exactly. Very good. A very good point. That's exactly that. That's a tr exactly true. When we talk about users, we're not just talking about human users, right? Okay. So yeah, absolutely. Very good. Okay. So now that you guys have a better idea, a better understanding of what an um, IOT is, let's discuss these questions. Okay. So we have, so we already described what the term IOT is. Um, it says, explain some basic impacts of the IoT in everyday life. So we kind of started talking a little bit about this while we were talking about IoT. So we talked about, a, you know, using um, a fridges and things like that. Or, um, But in this case, maybe the fridge is not... Um, something that you guys would be familiar with because I don't think we any of us have a fridge like that. So let's talk about the uh, the basic impacts in the everyday life that you guys have today, like in your in your everyday life. How would that impact? Wait, when you call a company, mm -hmm. they have a. Uh, answering system if you want to talk with anyone uh, you need to go to the that extension if you need to talk go to in the there is an iot system you talk and they redirect you to when you need to go and if you need to know what the what is your your credit card account mm -hmm. you only digit the number of your credit card and give the, the what you need to pay. It, no human person is there. It's only the computer that is giving you the information. Nobody, mm -hmm. and uh, there is an IoT system. You are interacting with that. Okay. And, uh, and when you get an, an appointment, an electronic appointment, for example, to for your driver's license, something like that, you are interacting with I, an IoT system. When you get an appointment for your uh, identification, uh, you are interact with an IoT system. So this is an everyday life. We need to 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 to, to take this one to the social security. We need we don't need to to make long lines to get an appointment. We need That's to okay. do in an IoT system. We need to get out the old people that don't have passion to train with, <laughs> to, to deal, deal with the people okay. but uh, is so far now <laughs> very good okay excellent all right um anybody else can give us another uh another way that um that it has impacted our lives maybe teacher uh in like the fitness life, the smart watches, uh, for mm -hmm. example, collect a lot of data. Yeah. And you, for example, uh, you wake up and you walk, and today you walk for 10 minutes and you made X number of steps or you burn mm -hmm. X number of calories. Mm -hmm. So that was today and tomorrow will be another information. and. The smartwatches collect this this data, and maybe at the end of the month, gives you um like a report of your of your activity. I think that a lot of people, a lot of people, use that kind of of IoT and in like the daily life, like through the smartwatches to collect a uh, data about your your healthy life. Mm -hmm. Very good. Excellent. Okay. Any other ideas how it can impact everyday life? The idea, teacher, is in order to 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 get easier easier uh, activities for for us. For example, um, two months ago, I need to I need to a document from the police. You know, a document that proved that I clear. <laughs> so, and I remember that the last time that I needed the document, it was 10 years ago, maybe. And I had to go to to the office and 
and made a, a role for ours. And today we only we, we only need to access uh, their their website and generate the document, pay for pay for it, and you have it for printer in your house or even the companies that need a uh, permit uh, that you send by email. So even you you don't you don't need a printer. So mm -hmm. the the life is easier today. Mm-hmm. Very good. Excellent. Now what about small businesses? In which way will can small businesses use IOTs for their own transformation and benefit? Small business, not big business. We're not talking about a big industries. We're just talking about small businesses. I have an example. There is mm -hmm. a lot of small businesses in my in my city that use in and of team. For example, WhatsApp business for take orders. For example, uh, pupuserias or something like that that sells uh, using WhatsApp. And they send us the, the food. So okay. they use in internet thing for for the benefit. Okay, so uh, can you explain again how they use the IoT? How they use? Yeah, can you explain what you talk, talked about the purpose ideas? Well, for example, it's usually in my theory that uh the most of the of these small businesses use WhatsApp for pay orders. They orders and they send the 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 el pedido. The the order. Oh, they send the order to your house and you only need to write them and okay. do an order. Okay, is that an IOT or it's just or would that be an ICT? Um, I think a cell phone is a part of IOT. That it's a common example. Okay, uh, yeah, um, a cell phone would be an I uh, part of the ICT. But remember, IOT has to do it's it's more specific within the it's it's in it's a network within it's more specific specific within a certain um system so it's not something that is that's available let's say to to everybody does that make sense uh, yeah maybe when some small business use a post Maybe the big uh, stores has a have a, a post from a specific bank, but when uh, some uh, stores or some business are starting with uh, that type of payment, maybe they get a cubo. Do you know what is that? It's a it's a little post uh, to pay with a credit card. But uh, they have a a little uh, percent of commission, I guess. Mm -hmm. uh, maybe that's the meaning for IOT because they they need to connect a network. Yes, and the network connect a band, and the band connect with the account of the of the buyer. Mm -hmm. It is definitely it is an IoT system. Oh, you mean like when they are asked, they're making a, a an order, like uh, when like they um, buy with a car, a, car, a credit card. Mm -hmm. This is an IoT yeah. system because nobody in the bank get the get the answer. They go direct to the system that mm -hmm. give the 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 mm -hmm. account of the or the buyer and give the approbation. In mm -hmm. the, Approval. The, this, okay. Approval. Uh, yes. una, the question is the impact for the IOT. The IOT. This is the, the question. The uh, 
Sorry, could you repeat that, Francisco? You need to, to get closer to your mic. Yeah, I, I, we can barely hear you. The question is the impact from the IoT. Right. The, the, the question is the number three. It says, in which ways, uh, this, uh, which ways um, can small businesses use IOTs for their own transformation and benefit? Okay. Uh, uh, I think, for example, uh, if you have a, a refrigerator with an IOT system, uh, you can uh, uh, take control about the, the inventory. For example, inventory. Inventory, inventory. For example, you uh, can uh, know the, the quantity for the vegetable, for the beef, and you uh, can, uh, 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 can uh, make a, a better uh, management for the inventory. Inventory. Inventory, sorry, mm -hmm. inventory. That's okay. Mm -hmm. Very good. Yeah, that's that's a good way. Yeah, very good. So you can um, use certain devices to make your to get your inventory from your workplace. Very good. Mm -hmm. Good. Excellent. Thank you, Francisco. Any other ideas of how small businesses can use IOTs? Uh, for example, um, imagine like a cyber co cafe, I don't know if you call it work, in oh, the control okay. of, of a room where uh, there are some, a lot of computer and people can connect. And so in that places, uh, uh, maybe they have also the service of printing something and they are printer connected through a network and that's uh, that's where they can use the internet for things like uh, mm, mm, uh, as we say cyber cafe i don't know where's the where's the current translation for that company cyber cyber cafe cyber cafe okay mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. it's like a kind of deprecated but nowadays but Maybe in the city, people use uh, that kind of places. Mm -hmm. and... Okay, okay, very good. Any other way that you can, that you guys can think about? Maybe use a uh, security. Mm -hmm. And when a uh, small, Businesses uh, install uh, security cameras, mm -hmm. and the over the can can to see the the your, your office by mm -hmm. telephone. Mm -hmm. Okay. It's not necessary. It's not. It's not necessary. Hire a, a person. Mm -hmm. Okay, a security mm -hmm. guard. Mm -hmm. It was a security guard. Mm -hmm. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Also, um, for example, there are um, networks where, um, let's say, instead of um, having a to punch in a card, um, you have like a facial recognition, right? So the person can um, get access to certain areas uh, with mm -hmm. with um, just putting their facial recognition, like they put their face, the, 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 the um, device scans it, sends the information and sees if the person is authorized to be in a certain area. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and that could also be security. Yeah, very good, very good. Excellent, Dora. Any other? No? Okay. All right, last question. Describe the dangers brought about by the IoT. 
So we talked about the the good things, you know, as you know, we talked about that I, uh, IoT is great, but remember, there's always pros and cons. So let's talk about those cons. What's the problem with with IoT? Maybe teacher, at some point, maybe you can have a lot of device connected at the same time, and maybe can result a little bit difficult to manage too many devices connected at the in the same network. Okay. And Especially if you don't have a, a very high band um, a, um bandwidth, right? So yeah. Mm -hmm. And at the end of the result is that um maybe you can't protect like your, the data or the information in the same way. Like if you maybe have okay or or maybe you can manage just a few devices. Maybe mm -hmm. I think that that could be a risk or a disadvantage. Okay. All right. Thank you. What else? Anything else? It can generate an addiction to browse. Addiction to what? Addiction to, to buy any devices or new version. <laughs> it's could common be. with cell phones. Could be. Mm -hmm. What else? Privacy. Mm -hmm. If you talk uh, in front of your device or in front of your social media about food, the social media immediately give you information about hamburgers. So what are you talking about? And uh, the, the privacy is... Uh, is in danger. Personal privacy with all of their smart devices in our. Yeah, it's true. Anything else? Any other dangers that you can think about? Another thing I think is the in in local networks, uh, we have to add an like an extra uh, security layer because sometimes uh, some of the those devices that are connected to the local network, uh, like they have to connect with the internet. Mm -hmm. So maybe they can catch like a virus and they- A virus. It can be virus, okay. Yeah, they can be uh, affected like for a virus and maybe they end up encrypt and some hacker ask for money to disencrypt those yeah. devices and, and uh, maybe uh, that there is the, the risk, the, the dangerous yeah. to get a virus and all the network is infected. Yeah, very so, good. Or or the or the network itself gets hacked, right? Mm -hmm. Yeah, that's true. Very good. All right, good, excellent, guys. So, um, so there's lots to learn about the IOTs, right? And we're gonna be um, getting more into this topic in unit two. Uh, we're going to be learning more vocabulary so that you guys um, can become a little more experts in the IOTs. All right, so right now we're almost at the end of our class. So I will take these last few minutes to take attendance, okay? Um, Okay. All right. So, Ana Claudia? Present teacher. Okay. David Samuel? Present teacher. Excellent. Dora Elizabeth? Present. Excellent. Fernando Ernesto? Present. Okay. Very good. Fernando Marvin? Present. Excellent. Francisco Eduardo. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, uh, Heidi Eugenia. Present teacher. Okay, very good. Um, Ileana Isel. Present. Excellent, thank you. Uh, Harvey. 
Present teacher. Excellent. Jose Marcos. Present. Okay, very good. Thank you. Jose Osmin. Present teacher. Oh, wonderful. Okay. Um, Jose Wilfredo. Present teacher. Okay, thank you. Juan Miguel. Present teacher. Excellent. Um, Ramon Enrique. Present teacher. Okay. Uh, Roberto Luis. Roberto Luis. Roxana Yvette. Present. Okay. William Alexander. Present. Okay, very good. Suleima Yvonne. Suleima Yvonne. Okay. Wendy Patricia. Present teacher. Good night. Okay. <laughs> okay. Good night, Wendy. Um, and Wilfredo Guardado. Wilfredo Guardado. Okay. All right, guys. So that will be all for today. I'm just going to um, stay with uh, Francisco Eduardo. Okay. And um, I will see you guys tomorrow. Okay. So have a wonderful day and, uh, sorry, night. And you yeah. <laughs> make a wonderful <laughs> day, teacher. <laughs> Thank yes. you, teacher. All right. You, see you. you. Bye. Bye, Bye, teacher. Hi, everybody. See you tomorrow, teacher. See you tomorrow. Hello, Francisco. Hello, teacher. How are you? Just fine, teacher. Mm, good, good, excellent. Um, so you are at work right now? Right, teacher. Oh, okay. Um, what time do you finish work? Uh, uh, at 10. 10 p.m. At 10. Ah, okay. Okay, so right now you just you just finished. Right, teacher. Oh, good, 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 good. So, um, remind me again. You work. Uh, you work from Monday to to Thursday, in the schedule, or how does it work? Um, no, be sure. Uh, I uh, work uh, fourteen uh, shift. For example, uh, today uh, I work. I start my shift at uh, 2 p.m. and mm -hmm. uh, uh, finish it at 10 p.m. and uh, the other, other day uh, I have a uh, night shift. Uh, I, I start mm -hmm. my shift at 10 p.m. and finish uh, at 6 p.m. Mm -hmm. and for today I, I start my, my shift uh, at 6 a.m. and finish 2 p.m. <laughs> but the, the sequence is a uh, uh, very particular <laughs> mm. because uh, uh, not uh, every week the, the sequence is the same. Mm. Every, uh, every week uh, is different. Oh, really? Every week is different. Oh, okay, okay. So when when do they give you the new shift? Uh, uh, tomorrow uh, I have my day off. Mm -hmm. tomorrow. And, and I start uh, uh, on Friday, I start the morning shift. Mm -hmm. Okay, I see. All right, okay. All right. Well, um, the the good thing is that they they give you a chance there to to be able to um still uh be connected to class and everything, and I really appreciate that. Um, so so tell me, um, have you had any problems with uh, unit one 
did with the platform any any questions any doubts that you had mm, for the moment not sure i don't have uh, any problems and just uh, the transport i don't uh, work uh, but uh, the idea is tomorrow that it might pay us to work on that mm -hmm. okay okay all right so okay so hopefully then yeah uh, do you think that you will be able to finish that um, early? Um, I think, uh, yes, uh, it's possible I finish uh, uh, around 2 p.m. sure. It's mm -hmm. possible that, that all I finish the, the platform for okay. the Okay, please, if you could do that, that'd be wonderful. Okay, so I will be, uh, I will be looking at the, um, to make sure that you finish it before that time. Okay, good. And what about today's class? Did you understand the class? Were you a little confused? Did you have questions? Tell me. Uh, the class, uh, I, uh, I feel good with the, the information. I, I, I think uh, I understand the, the idea for the, 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 the class. Okay. For me, for, for today, I, I feel no problem with the, the class. Okay. Okay. Very good. Excellent. Excellent. Very good, Francisco. Um, okay. Anything else? Uh, anything else I can help you with? Thank you, Fisher. Can do you, do you need help with something and and do you want me how how can I help you? Thank you, sir. Thank you. Mm -hmm. Is there anything I can I can do to help you, Francisco? For the moment, uh, uh, I'm not sure, but uh, if the future I have a, a question, I I share with that teacher. So okay. I, I with you, sure. Wonderful. Okay. Excellent. All right. Well, um, if there's nothing else then I can um help you with, uh, then I guess we can um we can I let you go so that you can go home, right? And remember you can always write to me, uh, whether it's in the chat in the in the group, the group chat or directly. You can write to me, okay? Okay, teacher. Okay. All right, Francisco, take care then and have a good night. Thank you, Fisher. You too. Thank you. Bye.